Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Romo, and welcome back to Naruto Battle Climax uh, 2018. Um, I know that some of you were saying that it's actually better to watch me play the characters in arcade mode than... Oh, sorry. Uh, I know that some of you were saying that it's actually better to watch me play the characters in arcade mode than uh, do the tournaments, because sometimes the computer can tend to get a little bit glitchy. Nope, no, no, no. I'm trying to talk and it's trying to interrupt me. Uh, how dare it. But um, I didn't want to leave a tournament unfinished, so I figured it might be best to at least finish it. This is the Konoha Konoichi Throwdown. <laughs> I gotta remember the names. Can't mess those up. Uh, just before we started, I wanted to make sure and show you that it is on hardest difficulty. Uh, difficulty hard mode. Uh, that's as high as it goes. Don't know why it stops on. Well, at least it's an even number. But yeah, so we got that. Now, no time limit, unfortunately, because I can't figure out how to fix the time. It only goes up to 99, and it only counts in seconds, so it's just too, too short. But let us go to spectator mode. We have in our first round Sakura versus Kurenai, so I'll get right down to that. All right, folks, and here we are. Sakura versus Kur and I. Best two out of three. Let's see what these two fighters can do. Now, remember, as I said earlier, as we weed out the um, the defective models, <laughs> uh, the fighters should become uh, better as the tournament progresses. And it looks like we're doing pretty good right now. Kur and I is on the uh, winning side. Sakura seems to be having some serious trouble dealing with her. Kur and I has yet to take any damage. Sakura still trying to figure things out. Kur and I putting up some of her best moves. It looks like she's got a trap ready for Sakura, but I'm not sure what it does. It probably activates and spray, uh, sprays off some poisonous spores if she goes near it. Ah, it looks like it's gone now. Sakura's actually dealt some damage. She's still far behind Kur and I, though. Kur and I definitely taking the lead in this first match. Oh, and another substitution by Kur and I. It's actually a really, uh, a really fun-looking um, counter. I mean, it's kind of obvious that it would be a counter. Kur and I winning with basic moves. <laughs> Aw, pretty sparkles. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry about the lighting in here. Unfortunately, you know how it is without the life-giving rays of the sun. Uh, this room is always much better lit whenever it's uh, whenever the sun's up, but unfortunately it's uh, almost nighttime now with the sun going down. So I had to just try to fix the lighting as best as I could. Kur and I again taking the lead. Sakura definitely trailing behind. Has yet to land any blows on Kur and I, and now using definitely on the defensive there, blocking a lot. Yeah, Kurunai's got this one in the bag. Sakura's got two stocks of uh, chakra now. She can use a good jutsu if she can get one off. Kurunai ready with the counter. Sakura doesn't take the bait. Ooh, and Kurunai with a, with a friggin' slam. Oh, oh, Sakura again doesn't take the bait. She's learning. <laughs> it's learning. Mrs. Tweety, it's the chickens. They're revolting. <laughs> or the one where he was like trying to convince her that the chickens were learning. Sakura's learning. <laughs> Gurnai again, still definitely winning. Oh, I think this is it. She's going to finish it, and there it is. Kurunai goes through. And also, since we have an uneven number of contestants, uh, Sarada's gonna get a bypass. She's gonna move on to the next round, and then in the finals, I think the semifinals, someone else will get a bypass, and then we'll boil it down until we've got uh, the correct number of competitors. So now, in our next match, we've got Ino versus Tamari, and I'll get right to that. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go with Ino versus Tamari. Tamari seems to have the advantage in this fight uh, with her long-range ability to attack. Uh, she went up against... 
Who did she go up against? Uh, Tsunade in her debut fight. Not sure. Ooh, wow. Good. I like seeing Jutsu. I like seeing Jutsu. I feel like the computer in watch mode doesn't use nearly enough Jutsu. Tamari poisoned now. Eno might be able to actually turn it around uh, using that poison. What exactly? Hmm, I don't see the poison doing much damage though, or any damage for that matter. Well, it's now it's out now. I should keep an eye on it next time Tamari gets poisoned, if she gets poisoned again. Eno with an impressive slam. Tamari fighting back. Using more physical uh, attacks than I would have thought. Oh, there she goes. There's the range. Good chip damage by Tamari. Eno blocking effectively. Gets knocked back by a big jutsu. But yes, as I was saying, I don't feel like the computer in watch mode uses enough, like, really super strong jutsu. For some reason in arcade, it's a lot more aggressive. But then again, I think uh, the female fighters might need some work. The male fighters seem to be, well, specifically um, the, like, like, meta characters, I guess you could say. Like Madara and Obito, those ending characters from the series when, you know, it was getting close to the end. They're pretty devastating. You know, with a good jutsu there. Looked like a counter. Tamari backed into a corner now. And she gets thrown out of it, and now she's got Eno in a corner. <laughs> Simultaneous violence. Another powder cloud by Eno. I guess that's not actually counter. Armor break on Eno. She can awaken now. If Tamari will give her the actual chance. Eno with a... Uh, she threw a um, projectile just a second ago, but it missed, unfortunately. Looks like Tamari's taking the lead in this one. We might have 2-0 Tamari. Unless Eno can pull off a miracle. Oh, and there it is. Tamari takes the lead. Moving on to the next round. In our next round, we've got Rin versus Karen. I'll get right to that match, and we'll be right there. All right, folks, and here we are with Rin versus Karen. This should be a good match. These two did well in their uh, debut matches. Looks like uh, looks like we've got some physical fighting going on finally. Rin's charging up, getting almost up to three stocks now. There we go, there's some action. I keep forgetting that she can go to the tail beast mode. Good god, did you see that damage? Hey, <laughs> made Karen mad, but I don't think she can turn this one back around. There's some poison cloud and apparently, oh no, it did take, it did take. Rin is uh, poisoned now. Karen is invisible. Impressive, impressive. These two not quite evenly matched. Um, Rin actually taking the lead specifically because of that uh, tail beast bomb. Which, wow, don't want to get hit with that. That was powerful. Looks like both characters are low on chakra right now. Uh, oh, it could be, and there it is. A win for Rin. <laughs> that rhymes. Didn't that happen last time too? So basically this fight seems to come down to... Um, whether or not, oh, and there's uh, Rin's little team jutsu, but uh, this fight seems to come down to whether or not Rin can uh, awaken or or use any tail beast bomb moves, because um, Karen's big, Karen's, oh wow, nice, that was very strong, uh, Karen's big winning theme seems to be, um, go, you know, inflicting poison, like there, and going invisible, but, since it's a computer fight, the computer always knows where you are, even if you are invisible. It looks like we could see a win for Rin again. Uh, the Tail Beast Bomb it took and dealt some damage, but I don't think he got the full effect. Uh-oh. And... Oh, there it is. Karen fought back hard, but she couldn't pull it off in the end. Win uh, Rin goes through. Next, we've got Yu-Gi-Tho versus Fu. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll... Be, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, we uh, again we have Yu-Gi-Tho versus Fu. Uh, in the last, I had to cut the recording short because unfortunately, Fu used a fog a fog summoning jutsu that rendered the uh, fight unseeable. You literally couldn't see anything because the background was snow and snow on top of fog or fog on top of snow not happening. You couldn't see anything. So we had to um, we had to get a redo. This is a uh, seems to be a very good match. I'm actually, as I said last time, excited to see this match just because of how aggressively these two characters fight. Now, 
also do also because of the fact that they're both Jin Chiriki, so not sure if either one of them is going to awaken, but it could come down to a fight of who awakens, who doesn't awaken, and oh, there we go. Speak of the devil, looks like Fu has gone to, what is she, she's the Seven Tails, right? Yes, yes, uh, Seven Tails, just, uh, just below Killer B with his Eight Tails. Okay. Oh, no, and we've got two tailed beasts. All right. Oh, this could be over fast. Oh, nice. Well, Yugito fought well, but it looked like she just didn't awaken quick enough. But she's got another chance at it. Best two out of three, that is. And here we go with the next match. All right. Fu and Yugito doing their best, starting off with some physical moves. Uh-oh. Nice, nice. See, see, just as I said, as we weed out the characters that, um, whose AI is kind of on the fritz, the fights get better, so I'm glad that we could actually finish the tournament, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. I just couldn't leave it unfinished, you know, who, who doesn't finish a tournament? I've got games that are unfinished, but I haven't not finished a tournament yet. Oh, <laughs> some basic going on. Hey, these two are evenly matched. Uh oh, Fu with, uh, or Yugito with three chakra stocks. Fu, not quite with three. Oh, nice. Wow, that was a, a, a stock one cha uh, jutsu? Well, we've got a 2 0 victory for Fu. Uh, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with. Uh... Alright, and we're back, folks. Sorry about that. I was looking at the tournament and I didn't realize that Serata gets a bye this round because uh, she doesn't have a, an opponent because we had an uneven number of tournament competitors. But uh, that's all right. Next time someone else will get the buy. I'm not sure who it's going to be. But uh, that was the, I believe, let's see, primla uh, preliminaries, uh, semifinals. So I suppose that was the semifinals. Hopefully you enjoyed the videos and that last match was actually pretty good. Uh, I missed Wednesday's upload, unfortunately. I had a lot going on, uh, sort of, you know, mentally, emotionally, sort of stuff. But um, I'm going to try to make up for that by having one out uh, either Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I'm enjoying the tournaments, and next up in the lineup for the arcade mode is going to be Asuma Sensei. So, look, uh, see, just because of Shikamaru always says that, Asuma. Uh, he, he's got it stuck in my head. He, I always add the sensei part just because Shikamaru keeps saying Well, he said it all the time in the series. But, um, yeah, Asuma uh, is next in the arcade lineup, so look forward to that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.